Remis is very committed with the IRF processes because we think that uh, to, to ask for uh, sustainable development goals is go far forward from the Millennium Goals. We are looking for social, institutional, political, economic. So we have given a better planet for the next generation. The um, ambition is that uh, we would have uh, some uh, framework that uh, would uh, work, would um, uh, put uh, uh, people together, could uh, uh, make the environment uh, sustainable. I think that that's something we are hoping for. The post-2015 process has an op opportunity for us at this point in history to make some kind of a paradigm shift which is both global as an agreement and one can act locally. The thing I'd really like to see from the post-2015 process is a, a post-2015 development agenda that really integrates sustainability into the whole package and puts us on a pathway to sustainable development. I'd like to see a sustainable development agenda that helps decision makers in and policymakers at, in all countries understand the interlinkages between sustainability and other development objectives. Yeah, I very much agree with what's just been said, so I can only add um, I'd very much like to see um, a development agenda in which um, we can have transparency and accountability of institutions to deliver the development agenda. So, Kodesria, I think it's fair to say that we were quite disappointed with the, the uh, MDGs uh, in terms of uh, the process but also the adequacy of uh, the goals to address the historical and contemporary developmental challenges facing Africa. So uh, our hope is that uh, the SDGs uh, will be uh, a politically inclusive uh, process but that it is also going to be a comprehensive process in terms of helping us to understand what the limitations to development in Africa are and to develop solutions that will actually address the real problems to development. Uh, and so our role is going to be to try and integrate our historical experience with uh, research, uh, empirical uh, knowledge of the situation in Africa and contribute that into the global process. So I think what we'd like to see out of the post-2015 process is really where the Caribbean islands and their interests um, are reflected in a global agenda. Right now the Caribbean islands are really marginalized and their vulnerabilities are not recognized um, and the special challenges they are facing. So I think you know, we'd like to see a global agenda have relevance and meaning to them and really help take them forward. And it'd be an inspiring vision for all Caribbean people to rally behind. Um. My hopes for the uh, post-2015 uh, development process is that it is an opportunity for uh, reframing of the global development agenda. So we can now uh, live in a world where, um, where the, the sort of um, differences between North and South and between East and West are becoming uh, less and less pronounced and we are really in the same boat together and we, we share the same sort of aspirations and the same needs for sustainable development and uh, this is a shift a little bit from the previous millennium development agenda which was largely targeted towards the poorest countries and uh, this is uh, still an important focus but now we also have to raise the bar for uh, the high income countries and look at both how we can get security and sustainability in, in both North and South.